Hello and welcome. Among the revolts of 1857 in Deccan, Venkatappa Naika IV, the 23-year-old Raja of Surpur, asserted his independence from British, hoping that other Rajas in Deccan would join in the fight. Surpura, also called Shorapur, is a city in Yadgir district, Karnataka. They were feudatory of Vijayanagara, ruled independently until 1801. When the British East India became protectorate of Hyderabad, Surpura and many smaller Deccan Rajas. In 1841 Raja Krishnappa Nayaka died, leaving it year boy Venkatappa and large debtor spending tributes. Queen Ishwaramma, supported by army of Bedra community, assumed administration on behalf of young prince. Her role was disputed by the Nayaka family that supported late king's brother Pidda Nayaka. The British resident at Hyderabad, sent Philip Meadows Taylor as resident agent to settle the succession, and educate the boy Venkatappa as future Raja. Taylor settled the dispute in royal family, by declaring that boy will be the king, on reaching the age of 18, until then the king's brother will serve as minister assisting the British agent. Rani E. Ishwaramma and the chiefs of Bedra army accepted. Taylor had a bungalow built on hill overlooking the city. Taylor had endeared himself to the prince, who addressed Taylor as Appa, meaning father. He was accepted as father figure by the royal family. Taylor groomed and educated the prince in skills necessary for Raja. He along with king's brother Pidda Nayakai improved the financial health of the kingdom. In 1851, Prince Venkatappa was crowned the Raja of Surpur. Surpura Nayakas made many contributions to Tirupati. In recognition, every year on the last day of Navratri Utsav, the pulling of the chariot carrying the idol of Lord Venkateshwara, starts only, after the representative of the Surpura royal family performs puja. Raja sent his messengers to encourage the British regiments at Kolhapur, 27th, Dharwar, 28th, and Belagam, 29th, to revolt. He contacted the Raja of Chamkhandi to join the rebellion against the British. He recruited the Arabs and Rohillas in his army. The British wrote advising that, their agent will be stationed in Surpur, replacing Taylor. 20,000 rupees per annum, would have to be paid. Raja rejected the suggestion saying his kingdom cannot afford the financial burden. Raja sent his messengers to encourage the British regiments at Kolhapur, 27th, Dharwar, 28th, and Belagam, 29th, to revolt. He contacted the Raja of Chamkhandi to join the rebellion against the British. He recruited the Arabs and Rohillas in his army. The army retreated to the Vagingera fort and waged a fierce battle against the British force, repulsing the first attack and killing Captain Newberry. The British army returned with fresh reinforcements from Lingasugur camp. A secret agent of the British, Bhim Rao, advised the Raja to escape to Hyderabad to ask the minister Salarzum to help in war. Next day, Bhim Rao opened the gate of the fort, and Surpura was occupied without much resistance. When Raja arrived in Hyderabad, he was arrested and handed over to the British. At Surpur, the gates were opened and the fort was captured. On reaching Hyderabad, Raja was arrested and handed over to the British. He was imprisoned at Sikandrabad and trial began in military court. Meadows Taylor was at Naldurg. He went to meet Venkatappa in the prison. Taylor informed them that Raja will face four years imprisonment at Karnul and then he will be given back his kingdom. Rani is prepared to go to Karnul and meet Raja Venkatappa. Unfortunate news arrived that Raja shot himself with his guard's gun. No one believed this, even Taylor suspected the British version. The 23-year-old brave Raja Venkatappa Nayaka was martyred fighting for freedom, 